Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to tell you how I achieve voluminous hair and there's some tips and tricks that I do to make my hair look bigger than what it would naturally I guess. But um, stick around if you would like to see what I do. So what I do to make my hair have volume starts all the way in the beginning right after I wash my hair. So here are some tips that I do and I'll be honest I don't do this all the time I don't do this like every time I wash my hair But on specific days if I want a little more volume if it's a special occasion or if I'm going out somewhere And I just want my hair to look a little bigger then I will do these things Okay, so a lot of it starts off in the styling process So what I do right after I wash my hair like my hair is soaking wet I apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner um, I use diva curls one condition, but it could be anything and then I take my Denman brush and I actually brush my hair from the back to the front so usually I kind of just brush my hair back to like detangle but when I want my hair to be a little bigger I'll brush it all the way to the front so my hair is like upside down and I'm trying to guide my roots to go in the opposite direction of where they would naturally fall so with my hair brought forward I apply all the products that I would for styling and if you haven't seen my styling routines I will leave the information above my head and also below in the description box I usually style with diva curl and I also have a style styling video on my Shea Moisture routine. So I'm also going to show you the products that I use specifically for volumizing my hair. And to start off, I'm going to show you the Diva Curl Believe In. This is a curl boost and volumizer and I really notice the difference from when I use it to when I don't. So I kind of just apply this to my hair going forward and I finger rake it all throughout my hair to distribute it evenly. I also use the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam and again this is made specifically for volumizing your hair. Uh, for texture and volume and I like it because it's really lightweight and it gives my hair body so I do the same thing I apply that to my hair and then continue using my Denman brush to kind of brush it all forward and distribute it evenly another thing I use are these clips and I think I don't know I guess these would be called roller clips like they usually um, clip into the roller um, but these are really great to lift your roots and how I do it is I just put it kind of like sideways like this and then push it through I'll show you I usually do this like in the front area of my hair um, but you could also do it like around your crown area where you want lift and I kind of just put it straight back and there it kind of just like lifts the roots and it really makes a big difference. So you could put them in there first, the longer the better, and then apply the styling product upside down. The next thing I use is this product, and this is the Shea Moisture Dragon's Blood and Coffee Cherry Volume and Lifting Spray. And this lifts and plumps up flat or thinning hair. And I don't have thinning hair, but sometimes it could be flat. So I feel like this does give lift and it texturizes my hair too. The next product I use to give me volume is this Bedhead Superstar Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. And this thing works. Like, I try not to use it a lot because I don't like to use um, hairsprays with like alcohol and stuff like that. But like I said, on special occasions, I'll use this and I usually spray it in my root area and then massage it in there and this really gives lasting volume. The next thing I use is Shea Moisture's Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Texture Spray and this is for fine to medium hair and as I always say I have fine hair so I like to use products that give my hair texture because the more texture I have the more volume I'll get and the more body I'll get in my hair as well. So what I do with this is I just spray it all over my hair while it's damp. And last but not least, one of my favorite products, this is the Shea Moisture uh, Age Defy and Color Protect Sea Salt and Texture Spray. And I did talk about these before in my Shea Moisture routine, but this is one of my favorite products because this also adds texture to the hair. And um, I like to spray it when my hair is damp on my root area, and I kind of concentrate on the root area because I feel like this really gives my hair kind of like a coarse texture not so coarse that it's like hard or dry but it just makes it like a little tiny bit more stiff so that my hair kind of like stays lifted at the roots so I definitely like that so after I apply all these products in my hair of course my hair is upside down I begin to scrunch and then I use a cotton t-shirt and then absorb all the excess water and product that's in my hair after that I diffuse my hair until it's fully dry Thank you. 
And after my hair is all dry and I applied like the extra hairspray and all that, I like to shake out my roots and kind of just like massage them like this. So that uh, when you flip back up, your hair is like... After it's dry, I like to spray this one more time on my hair for a lasting hold and then I use a pick to lift my roots. So what I do is I kind of just place it in my root area and lift and kind of just do that around my crown. So after I pick my hair, once it's fully dry, that's it. I'm good to go. Um, the products that I showed you here are not the only products that I use in my styling routine. These are just the ones in specific that um, are made to add volume and texture to the hair. Another thing I do to try to get volume is I try to stay away from creamy products because these tend to weigh my hair down if I use too much. So if I do use any type of cream like a leave-in conditioner or super cream or the wave maker or whatever, I put a very little bit because I want my hair to be lighter and I want it to be able to be bigger. So I feel like when I put too much cream on my hair, it weighs it down. So I tend to lean more towards the gel side because this like defines my curls, but it never really weighs it down. So that's what I use. That and then also the volumizing foam or any kind of mousse works well too. Another easy tip is you can part your hair to the opposite side of what you always part your hair to. So if your hair is used to being parted on this side, then part it on this side because your roots are already natural going in a certain direction so if you put your hair against that it'll make your roots higher so you can see uh, my hair is usually parted on the, my right side so if I parted my hair I'm not gonna part with a comb or anything but you can see like if I wore my hair to this side my hair would be super tall on top because my roots are just so used to going the opposite way so yeah see this looks kind of nice so you can just part your hair to the opposite side and your hair will just kind of like do its thing. Another thing I noticed, at least with my hair, is sometimes when I want to get volume, I have to sacrifice like definition. So my hair will be kind of like frizzy and I'm kind of used to it by now. Like I don't care about frizz. I don't really mind. If anything, I feel like frizz helps my um, volume because you know it kind of just like expands the curls and just makes my hair a little bit bigger but for those of you who like perfect definition with no type of frizz I'm sure you can still use these tips um, I don't necessarily know why my hair gets frizzed out like that maybe it's I don't know I really don't know but I don't mind but I just want to mention that um, I do know that I have frizz but uh yeah it kind of just is cool with me I don't mind but yeah that's it it's really simple so hopefully these tips will help you guys let me know if they work for you and um, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please be sure to subscribe and I just want to say Thank you guys so much for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. That is like a really awesome thing and I am very thankful. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.